It's 10 a.m. in Compiègne in northern France, and rallying time for these anti-hunting activists. It's a regular event throughout hunting season, heading into the forest each Saturday. There's a quick briefing coming up. Their aim? Disrupting the hunt. Marine's gone around with the lemongrass we put all over our legs to help against ticks. And in case the dogs accidentally lose the stag's scent because of that, I guess it's collateral damage for the hunt. Using hunting dogs to track an animal is an ancient practice, one these activists call archaic and outmoded. They want it banned, and to do so they're using one of the few weapons in their arsenal filming the hunt and putting the videos online. The GoPro camera protects us because everything is on film and that helps us make the films we'll upload, where you sometimes see these horrific scenes, stags drowning, boars getting hacked down. Just opposite, the hunters have arrived. This group has come to assist with the main hunt. They're the followers and they have their own aims. We're here to see that everything goes well, that no one's bothered by the activists who want to ruin the hunt and that they don't mistreat our dogs and so on. Has that already happened? Yes, we have videos, people with pepper bombs, and you can see they're using lemongrass sprays over there now. Between those for and against the hunt, there's tension in the air. If they're not for it, fine. They should just stay at home and do something they like, but don't let them prevent us from carrying out a legal activity we like. The hunt is on. We tag along with Rodolphe. Within minutes, we come across the hunters' vehicles. They're all here because the hunt is somewhere on the bit of land to the left, so they're waiting for the stag they're pursuing to cross a road here, which is a secondary road. We come to a stop. So we're on a secondary road where people are going to and coming back from work, and there are dogs crossing, the whole pack. It's dangerous. The hunters say they take care to avoid any accidents by changing the way they hunt when next to public roads. But it's not always easy to anticipate what exact route an animal will take, especially when the hunt spreads over several dozen hectares. Hunters have to stay in the forest, and if ever the animal, and it does happen, ends up in an urban area, the hunter master has to do everything possible to pull back the dogs, and then the hunt stops. We've been trying our best to do that for three years. Even so, it can still happen that animals in flight take shelter in towns. That's what happened here in October 2017. A stag being hunted fled onto private property. It jumped over the bushes in the hedge and it ended up on this ramp to the basement. It finally died after it was shot twice with a rifle. Accidents like this are rare according to the hunters. However, even without such extreme cases, a wild animal in an urban area poses serious problems. The mayor of a local commune told us that stags often flee into his town while seeking safety. When an animal that weighs some 200 kilos and can jump up to two meters without any difficulty and without a run-up, and it has razor-sharp antlers, it's a serious threat to human life. I've signed a decree which bans hunting less than 300 meters away from our town's urban zones. The move's been appealed by hunters in the courts. They feel their lifestyle is under threat. We're carrying out a public activity too. We've spoken about the hunt followers, the people in the cars. They're the ones who come to watch the show. That's their day out for the weekend. And they've been attached to it for generations. They're attacking our way of life, not just hunting with hounds. They're attacking the entire way of rural life. With the controversy taking on larger dimensions than just a matter of hunting with hounds, has it become a question of town versus country? The president of France's League for the Protection of Birds went a lot further. Killing for pleasure is no longer a concept that we approve of at the beginning of the 21st century. At a time when biodiversity is being destroyed and lost at a faster rate than ever before, adding hunting for pleasure to that impact on nature isn't to most French people's liking. A majority of French people are against hunting. The last survey came in 2018, 
with just 19% of those who responded saying they were in favour of the sport.